Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Bazaar. Last episode we actually got the gym badge, went to the DDB club, picked up the gym badge but Nook was also there and he wanted to go and just check out a room to get some information because it used to be Stain's old laboratory. Turns out one of the people working there was actually a ACP member in disguise, had a Kecleon suit that Joshua just thought was <laughs> amazing. Honestly it looked kind of cool, I'll be honest. But um, Nook told us the story of um, why he joined the um, Interpark and kind of a sad story. And now he wants to kind of like make amends and just be a good detective, which honestly, I applaud. Pretty good. Uh, we got Surf and we learned that if we get Dai, we can just explore and probably do a lot of side quest stuff. We saw that uh, Baobab and um, Palomima have gone underwater to try find a singer. And <laughs> the other members of the group think they might be eaten by a Whale Lord. Anyway, we're surfing down south because we need to head down Route 13. Oh, come on, come on. You're blocking the way for everyone. Sorry, the road is blocked. This whale lord got stuck on the sand. I mean, I could easily get past there, but I called Maiden Island to see if anyone could come and help. This should be coming soon. Hey, did you hear that? Oh, yeah, Maiden Island, that's where we're going. Oh, Shug, you came. So I think this is the gym leader. I think I'd better step aside. Oh, they are tall. Oh, I just punched a whale lord. <laughs> I guess, thank you, Shug. You're welcome. <laughs> okay then. Um, a little rudimentary, but I guess you got the job done. Right. <laughs> um, whale lord, you, you, you okay? It's the stranded whale lord from before. Do you want to keep it? Sure. I got a free whale lord. <laughs> okay then. Um, hi. The sea breeze tickles. All right, let's uh, go explore Route 13 and then make our way to Maiden Island. So we know we can get the wetsuit around there, just gotta try and find it. I need to get healed up as well, which is not good. But once we get the wetsuit, hopefully I can do a bunch of stuff. But among us, we are gonna go into Spiritomb and go for Flamethrower. We also got the TMs from the gym leaders as well, which is good. We got Ice Beam and Flamethrower, which is great for Spiritomb. Just unlucky outspeed me and got that off, but it does like no damage, so we all good. We all good. Alright, uh, Slurpuff, we will go... I guess Accordion's fine. Just go for some Hyper Voices. Yeah, man, Accordion with Hyper Voice is just... It's so good. <laughs> so good! Hey, level 62 wants to learn Trick Room. Uh, I'm good. Right, I'm going to lead off with Accordion as well, because everyone's going to little. Well, I say everyone. Spiritomb and Cosmomander is going to a little bit weak. Alright, let's get some berries. And that's not an item, I don't think. No. It's just a leaf. <laughs> I thought I saw an item on the floor, but it's not. Can we get behind here? No. Right. Uh, so we can't go to the left. Let's talk to you. Sun, work! Sun, work! Work the muscles, of course. Soldier, stand at attention. Firm as the wind. Oh, you sell stuff. I mean, not bad if you want to do some training, but I think we're good. Let's go check out the right side. Uh, hi. If you see a fisherman with some kind of fish tank on him, don't be scared. They're good people. Okay, oh, you got a face? Oh, you train Pokemon, don't you? But please, let's have a battle. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you could go Overdrive, but I feel like Hyper Voice would be better. I mean, it just does so much damage. Nice, nice, nice. I swear, like, every Fang game I play, I love using the uh, Evolution. I'm gonna try Overdrive this time, but the, the fake Evolution is always so fun. Especially when they're like, su okay, maybe that was better. Especially when they're like, super OP. I still think out of all the Evolutions I've used, Nucleon from Uranium is still my favorite. Just can't give a how powerful it was. It's just destroying everyone and everything. We've got a flame orb. Okay, cool. Am I gonna use it? Probably not. That Nucleon. I think, was I using a Nucleon? It was, I don't wanna say it was Hyper Voice. It was, was it a nuclear type move? It was something. It was so decent, man. All right, so Maiden Island, we've finally made it. Oh, there's the train, which will be taken to, uh, Temptation Town, I think it is? Is it Temptation Town? Yeah, Temptation Town. 
and then you've got NASA there, which um, we know that's where the email was sent to or from. Ooh. Can we take the boat? <laughs> uh, hi. So you can see the Yes Islands from here. Wish we couldn't see them, they're a dump. <laughs> I think thinking of destroying the area. Peace was never an option. <laughs> I don't really like swimming, but when you go, when you live on an island, you don't really have a choice, you know? You'd much rather take up rock climbing. Then I'd have to move to the mountain. I mean, you don't have to swim. I guess you could just get a boat, but hey, hey, something important is happening in the square. The champion is supposed to show up. Come on, come on, you can't miss it. Oh, the champion, eh? <gasps> Damn, it's certainly getting worse. Without a doubt, uh, this thing is going to bring a whole ton of problems. Please, for your safety, evacuate. We have to figure out how to fix this. Voltsy, hey yo. I figured you'd be here soon. Voltsy, hey, how are you doing? I hope you're good because we don't have much time to chat right now. You've probably already heard about it on the news. There have been several portal sightings throughout the region. Paolo and I have been researching the behavior of these things for years. It's been a while since we had any problems with them, but it seems that everything is beginning to repeat. This is more or less how it works. The portals can communicate with other dimensions. In theory, a portal from time to time is not a problem. But as soon as several start to appear, oh buddy, that's a major problem. Isn't that right, Kaita? Exactly, Paolo. NASA has been studying the behavior of the portals that appeared years ago for quite some time. In addition, activities similar to these portals have been detected on the moon. Isn't it amazing? Portal activity is growing exponentially. The portals generate an instability between the two dimensions, causing them to intermingle in a single dimension. Then if the portal does not disappear or if it's not closed, it will cause more portals to appear. Paolo and I came all the way from Temptation Town to see if we could do something to help. But there is nothing we can do right now. I guess we can only wait. And what do we do if this thing doesn't go away? Will we have to evacuate? I don't want to leave the island. Calm down. We leaders will take care of this. By the way, did anyone tell Shug about this? Where is he? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I guess this is where I come in. <laughs> He's so big. Hello, Shug. Uh, we wanted to warn you about this. What is happening? You see, we'd like you to keep... Oh. He just... The guy really managed to destroy it. That was amazing. What a powerhouse. Good job, Shug. Well, I think that today's work is finished. <laughs> Trudy, Paolo, will these portals start popping up even more during the next few days? As far as we believe, it is possible, yes. Indeed, we believe that this may increase in the coming days. If anyone sees a portal, do not approach it and are notified the authorities. One more question. These incidents are related to the ACP, right? Yes, I'm afraid so. As long as Interpark is in charge of finding out their current whereabouts, we can stop them without any problems. Thank you very much for your kind words. One last question for Paolo and Kaita as champion and old member of the Elite Four. Ah, okay. But the League Championship will be held in a few months. Could these events prevent the event from taking place? Of course not. NASA will solve this problem in no time. We'll take care of the ACP as soon as possible. Although we cannot promise anything, we'll do our best to make it happen. Thank you all very much. We look forward to seeing your participation in the championship. Bizarre News is signing off for today. You already cut, haven't you? Then let's go, let's go. <laughs> I heard some interesting news about a rare meowth. Ooh, a rare meowth. Shug, thank you so much for fixing the problem. I see you're still training. Thanks. Uh, no, man, thank you. <laughs> By the way, Shug, we have someone here who wants to challenge you. I'm warning you, they've got my blood in them. They're not going to make it easy for you. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> okay. I'll be waiting for our fight. Hope you'll be able to give me a challenge. I hope so too. Well, Voltsy, I'm glad to see you already earned six badges. Hm, you're almost ready to face the old man. Hey, uh, you said that like I'm 80 years old. Don't look at me. I'm not the one who's uh, grandpa here. <laughs> right, well, Voltsy, we'll be at the bar. To get to Temptation Town, you'll have to board the uh, Monetary Express. We'll wait for you to get your badge and then we'll all go together. Voltsy, remember that the next opponent after Shug is your old man. You have to give it your all. Okay. So I would tread carefully. Shug is physically the most powerful person in the region. 
and his Pokemon are not far behind, they will hit you with the force of a tsunami. Well, Kaida, uh, what are you going to do? I guess I'll have to uh, get down to work. I'll return to the NASA station and let you know what happened. When I get back to Temptation Town, I'll stop by to see if you found anything interesting. Shall we go to the bar? Let's go. Alright, so let's uh, get to exploring and then we can go take on the 7th gym. Honestly looking forward to taking on Shuga a little bit. I think it's going to be fun. The thing is, we need to find out how to do some side quests. I'm thinking maybe we needed Surf for at least one of them. But we shall see, we shall see. Hmm. Hmm. How did I end up here? I was climbing Mount Blues and suddenly a deep purple light cut my vision and I approached as I appeared on this bench. Well, that's not good. So there's the station. Uh, can we surf across here? We can. Oh, we can't go anywhere though. Just making sure. I like the surfing music. <laughs> uh, hi. So I have to train to be able to defeat Shugen and arm wrestle. That's why I'm running. I realize this is only training my legs. Ah, I can't think and do sports at the same time. <laughs> you ever ridden the Military Express? It's so wonderful. On top of that, it's so cheap. Although their trips are a bit long, but it's cool to enjoy the train experience and meet new people inside. Oh, I bet so. Alright, uh, let's go check out the bar. We got lots to check out. Do you like Poker Brisker? I do, but uh, not too... Wait, I heard that La Carcian is going to participate once again this year. He's sure to win again. Oh. Uh, don't buy anything. Say, so, Volta, you're looking for advice? The truth is that at this point, I don't have much to tell you. Just know you're going to win. The only thing I can warn you about is that Shuga is very dedicated and knows how to keep his composure. He has few weaknesses and knows how to cover himself very well. He simply plays with the uh, same mentality. Oh yeah, and don't be intimidated at the beginning of the fight. The guy's a teddy bear. Even if the earth starts to shake and lightning starts to strike, he's not going to do anything to you. <laughs> well, we'll see. But what are you doing here? Still not going for Shug? If you want to have a small drink before you uh, go, it will work wonders. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, sup. My Gastron is a true titan. Has ability to swallow an entire executor. Ooh. I've trained it to be vegan to wipe out grass type Pokemon. Well then. Impressive. Right. Uh, so where does that take us? We can go east? The Fission Project. The Technomatic Club. Okay, so we got lots to check out then. Check this house out first. So we're ready to go to the beach, it's time to create the gritty psychic destroyer Fermo tank of ancient Aztec legends. Gonna need a lot of sand, water, rocks and wulu to sacrifice, okay then. My son is a real architect, although I'm a little concerned about his murderous <laughs> tendencies. Well, they say that the greatest geniuses are the most eccentric, um, I would keep an eye on him. Maybe both eyes. <laughs> uh, we don't need any rocks. Uh, yo. I wish I could be a Feebas and get hung from a rope, everything would be so easy. Oh my god, uh, ah, what do you want? Free stuff, obviously. What does it look like I want? Uh, you just sell some bulls. Sup? Have you ever heard people say that people who live on islands are lazy? Ha! Damn mainlanders. They say that, but then come here on vacation. Get out of our lands. Okay then, uh, yo, what do you sell? Some seeds? Uh, so we've checked out that place yet. Yeah. So people of Floyd Town have been uh, giving us a run for our money and fishing for centuries. They think their barnacles can compete with our clam pearls. A shell pool's a lot more if you know what I mean. Okay, uh, hi. Have you ever fallen into the pistachio trap? I don't like jokes, I guess. I don't like you. That's not be very fun if you can't take a joke. Uh, I'm not to answer. Well, answer me this one. I'm a master of stratagems. Okay, I don't know what that is, but at the Institute of Oceanic Studies, we are dedicated to investigating the oceanography and marine life of Quintellus. Surely you've been able to enjoy our knowledge in some of our books. We have fans all over the region. Okay, let's go check it out. Ooh. Uh, the Omanites lived in our seas for hundreds of thousands of years. Do you know that Omanites are born without shells? They make it from the remains left behind by other Pokemon, whether from their bones or even their feces. Ugh. Then they apply a little art attack concoction and they have it ready. Today we have the resources to bring uh, some back to life. I would, like, I would have liked to have seen them all swim together back in the day. 
got a book. Chapter 2, Staryu. So Staryu hide a great inner potential under their red jewel. Uh, there are cultures that call it the Redstone of Aja. This stone is said to be able to concentrate light and throw a laser beam through it. This stone was used to banish vampires. I have heard that my grandfather used this stone to wipe out the mind fitness gods. End of chapter 2. <laughs> okay then. Uh, the Quintella Center for Ocean Studies has a great reputation. Our encyclopedias are sold all over the world. Many leaders from other regions use them to learn about their Pokemon. The other day we received a letter from a fan. It says he's now been able to get to know the true wild side of his float soul. What all that means? <laughs> came all the way, I came all this way because I had to bring my father some food. Wonder why he would be so interested in plants. I don't know, they don't do anything. Well, you know the grass type Pokemon. Do those count as plants? Anyway, the fact is that he only studies al algae. Um, I guess, yeah, they do count as plants, I guess. But couldn't someone from the fishing project do that work for us? I'm sure they have some diving equipment to spare. Yeah, man, I want some diving equipment. That magic carp over there is looking at me funny. I think he's up to something. Damn, Magikarp, uh, know that I won't take my eyes off you. I'm watching in case it does something, but... Uh, Dr. Kujo is busy right now, and let's just say he doesn't like to be interrupted. Let's just say he's not the nicest person in the world. He is, of course, the largest marine biologist in the region. But if you talk to him, do it tactfully, okay? Are you another one of those fans? Have you come to get an autograph or what? Uh, guys like you who read only a couple of books are so annoying. I'm only interested in those who are really passionate about the ocean. So you don't have a clue about this subject, shut your mouth and go away. Give me a break. Do I have to like, go and um, read like every single book, then speak to him? I'm assuming that's what I have to do. I feel like I've, I've read all the books so far, or all the ones I've seen at least. So we'll have to um, wait till we probably go to the last town and maybe find another book or two. Got a rare candy, nice. Uh, hello, do you want you want to be my little pog champ? Just have to sign this contract and... Why are you looking at me like with that face? Oh, that's all right. I'll fool someone else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I've been moving boxes around all day. I'm gonna have a come to capture a macho to help me transport them. What, use a wheelbarrow? That's just lazy. <laughs> right, uh, so the gym's not in this town, right? Gets us to the east. So let's go to the next location. Hopefully find some more stuff and many promising fishermen are coming out of the fishing project. Plus they seem to be coming out of all those techno problems they had. Uh, so fishing project. Hello, this is the fishing project. No, you don't look like a techno maniac. If you want to join us, visit the main building. Thank you very much. Okay, I will do. Can I have one of the cool bulbs? <laughs> uh, I don't have much to offer you. If you like fishing, I can give you this. Oh, thank you. I mean, any free stuff's, you know, best stuff. All right, what do we got in this building? Oh! All right, guys, what have you caught today? Have you relaxed? Have you disconnected from the world? I'm listening. I've been fishing for some relic camp. They're very nice. I caught a perch. It was amazing seeing it up close. But what is a perch? Well, what about you, Alf uh, Fredo? What did you catch? Seizures. D uh, yes, I see. The shaking will go away, don't worry. All right, boys, you can rest for the day. Uh, yo. Hello, this is the fishing project. Looking for information? Yes. We're an organization founded by Shug, our fir first fisherman. Shug belong to a very dangerous group that dwells near here. They're known as the Technomancers. There are people who have fallen before the power of partying and techno, losing all their humanity. Shug managed to get out of the loop and got tired of the noise of the party, so he took up fishing. He gradually removed people from that sect and formed the Fishing Project, an association that seeks to rehabilitate the Technomancers. Interesting, right? While he's away, I'm busy keeping an eye on things. It's my way of thinking, uh, thanking him for getting me out of there. Okay. Uh, the fishing project received donations from all over the region. These donations are transported by boat from Floydtown. Glad to see that there are many altruistic people in the region. Uh, for fishing is an art. Although I would like to know uh, more things about the sea. I think I'm going to study to join the Center of Oceanic Studies. Plus, Dr. Cujo is so cute. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what to do. Brought a wetsuit to try spearfishing. However, when I dive into the water, I get very scared. I'm very scared. Very scared. That'll be me. Uh, now I don't know what to do with all this. Would you be interested in it? I would. 20,000? Just know it cost me 40. Yeah, I'll do it. So take, take, uh, take, take. Enjoy it. Get out of my sight. Just looking at it reminds me of the dark abyss of the sea. So 
we got the diving suit. Sweet. Go on. Go out there and dive and do diver stuff. So we can now go explore a lot more things. Which we'll do probably next episode? I don't know how long it's going to take us to get to the gym and explore here, but um, do I poke a brisker? I don't want to play a game. He's gawking at the TV. Seems like they're playing the adventures of Joe's Bass, the Fish and Rambo. Well, it's an amazing series on uh, No Wonder. I'm gawking at him watching TV. <laughs> all right then, uh, you okay? So the people of the fishing project are very nice. They all strive to overcome their addictions and move forward. Shug was the first to get out the technomantic sect and now he helps many people with the project. All right. Can't wait to check this place out, but uh, hi, I'm breaking the laws of physics. I think I'm connecting with someone. Getting a signal from Zeppelin City, there's someone breaking the laws of physics next to me. Yeah, we uh, spoke to that person. But maybe I should go take this girl to NASA, I'm sure they can investigate her well. <laughs> How on earth are you doing that? Uh, oh, sorry young man, this area is quite dangerous. Technomantic terrain, you know? They are too dangerous and their leader is too strong. Better not go through here. Okay, maybe we can come back later on. Let's go up to the Maiden Gym. Hello young challenger! Is this the gym? Well, let's say it's the Maiden Island Gym. In order to see Shug, you must first silence the people in a place a bit. Shu doesn't like noise, so you have to figure out how to shut them up. As for this gym, its trainers specialize in water types. Shug is a trainer based especially on raw power. Their Pokemon possess overwhelming strength. Oh, and watch out for the rain. Okay. Uh... Right, so I need to somehow shut you up. My soul hurts because there are no chocolate Oreos left! What's... A suffering, what anguish. What, stop playing? My spirit is not so easily quenched. Oh, maybe you just gotta battle them. Alright, let's go overdrive. Ooh, cross chop. That's not good. If only I could outspeed you. Sadness. It's fine. I, I did buy some revives and stuff, so I can just do that later on. But this should be an easy gym, because we've got like three electric Pokemon, one electric. Grass, we have Electrotypes on um, Accordion, this, this should be, should, be an easy gym. Plus we've got Ledian, the, the gym destroyer who just likes destroying all the gyms, because it's just too good. Okay. Do you want me to stop? I'll never stop. If you want me to play something, come on, bring it to me. Uh, I don't know what you want me to do. But let me just lead off with Cosmo Manda. And I'm going to quickly revive Cordion so we get the experience. There we go. What do you want me to do? Uh, hi. Oof. Ah. Oof. Ah. Fell off my stun fist can hit a rock. Could have sworn I saw a nurse around here. Surely she was just... <laughs> I appreciate it very much. Okay, um... This dude can hear hear Peter, but uh, I'm writing a song about the uh, love I had a long time ago. Yeah, I can't sing. I'm looking for someone who can sing this song for me. Can we find a musician to help me? Take it, take it. Here are the lyrics. Oh, okay, it's called "The Soup Is Ready." Right. <laughs> My mother told me to take a vacation and come to the beach, but there are no mountains to climb here. I'm lucky. Right. D do I want you to sing this? Please give me back my cookies. You again? Do you have another song? Okay, I'll try this. Oh, it's a ballad. The soup is cold, cold as her heart, cold as the salad, a soup without passion. Right, that's quiet him down. Wait, do I need to maybe like stop this sound? Uh, so I need to get bandages. That will stop him. Just ah. <laughs> My friend fell down the well, he's asked for help, I don't know how to get him back up. I need some rope. Uh, I don't know any rope yet. Uh, okay then. So she's banging on the barrels. Please, help me to get her stop banging on the barrels. She loves chocolate buns. She needs chocolate buns, bandages and a... a uh... Wait, there's the nurse. She should have some bandages, right? Take me a few days to open it, but I can sell you stuff if you need it. Oh wait, ah! No, 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 I need a... Bandages. Bandages? Oh, I have to get out of these nurse clothes so they finally leave me alone. 
Okay, yes, I have some. I'll sell them to you for the modest price of 10,000. Oh, it's market, my friend. You're lucky I have the money. I have so much money. I'm practicing sunbathing a bit, but I don't dare take off my helmet. Fair enough. Right, so let's go and do this. So I have the bandages. All right, now back in the water. Here I come, Stunfist. The Stunfist pulled away and the man disappeared to the bottom of the ocean. Okay then, uh... I can feel the passion of your song. Actually, this stage is supposed to be used for people to tell jokes, people the fish in the project don't like noise very much. Well, Shu doesn't like noise. Hey, listen to other types of music is not bad. Uh, ah, I feel so nice to relax a bit. I'm tired of making so many buns and pastries. Oh! Okay, so I get one. I think he went to sunbathe. So we want to go over here. It's one of like little fetch, fetch quests, but uh, do I have a chocolate buns? And mine, if you want one, you'll have to earn it. Okay. Let's just thunderbolt your whole team. Hopefully this will be an easy gym. Just gonna thunderbolt everything. Seeking do not have... Yes, the one lightning rod. Okay, all good. One more fun. Oh, you're gonna switch into Golda. <laughs> okay, that's fine. And the music changes and... Oh, Hydro Pump's not gonna kill me good. For a second, I thought it might just do enough. And Seeking... We outsped it, right? Yeah, we good, we good. I'm gonna use a potion after this just to get fully healed. Okay, here's the bun like we agreed. Okay, now I'll go sunbathe for a while. The doctor told me that I need vitamin D. <laughs> uh, let's just get healed up. Potion. Alright, so we give the chocolate buns to this person over here. That'll stop them banging the drums. Oh, just gonna attack me. <laughs> oh, lantern, you suck. That's the one Pokemon we can't really thunderbolt. But we can Giga Drain. You know, I might lead off a Sunflora for the gym fight and just see if I can Quiver Dance and then just Giga Drain the whole team. Maybe Leak Seed at first, we'll see. Uh, Stun Fist, yeah, I guess we can stay in oh, armor. That might be Water Grass. I mean, we can still do some damage, it's fine. Let's try Moon Blast. That's uh, not too great. I think Giga Drain should finish you off, just don't flinch me. Nice! Ooh! Got a little bit close there for a second, but we good, we good. Brave Bird, uh... Yeah, get rid of Bite. So go rips the buns out of your hands? Okay. Well, thank you, I felt like my head was gonna explode. Uh, so what? I need to get a rope. Oh, uh, so let's potion up. And lead off with Sunflora just in case. But who do we speak to? Mm. I don't know who we want to speak to. I listen to other types of music is not bad. The stage is supposed to be tough with jokes. Uh, so I don't think it's here. Oh, my told me to take a vacation, come to the beach. Oh, do I have some rope? Ah, because you're a mountain climber, makes sense. All right, hey, that's fine. I'll beat you, get the rope, and then we can save the person in the world, and we're good. Oh, okay, I'll have to use like an ether after this, get some PP back. Sick, one shot on the Machoke, let's go. Yeah, wish cash, nice. That's what you want to see, man. The water ground types that we can just absolutely annihilate. So good. And slow, bro. Yeah, let's stay in. Just keep on Giga Draining. Oh, we one shot it. Fantastic. Yeah, I was going to one shot it there, but we've got the, the rope. So now we go and save you. So I have the rope. Okay, thank you very much. 
We've got Pepe back. So now that's all the sound done. I believe, right? Let's just get the Giga Train back to full PP. And go take on the leader. Mm, ah, you did it. Every, everything's so quiet now. Because you can stop by and see Shug. That's right, don't make noise. If anyone's gonna... Uh, if anyone's gonna... Some noise, let it be him. I guess make some noise. Oh, okay. Got a nice little peaceful house here. I like it. Hello. I heard you coming. Ah, hello, little one. You're here for my badge, aren't you? I was trying to prepare myself mentally. Although I was having a hard time, there was a lot of noise out there. But I'm ready now. I'll try to fight as best I can. Oh, sorry for yelling. Sorry, I was startled. Well, here we go. I hope we have a good fight. Oh, let's go, man. Big Shook. Let's do this. Size of her. Oh, that's a great start for us. Alright, I'm going to go for a Quiver Dance. We've got Sludge Wave. That's not good. And you poison me. Great. Comes out speed, I can just Giga Drain. No! <gasps> oh! I thought I was going to take it out then. I really thought it was going to take me out. That's good. That's good. Sick. What else you got? Sharpedo! Giga Drain. It's fine, it's fine. Defense went down, but... Oh, we can one-shot you. We're going to stay healthy. Right, Matchamp. I think we shall speed that. No, we don't. And... Okay, we're taken out. That's all right, though. We did... Took out two. Let's go Thunderbolt. Oh, close combat. That's going to hurt. I think we can one-shot you now. Fantastic. That's three down, man. Go, let's go. Gyarados. Oh, yeah, I'm staying. Thunderbolt. Oh, Earthquake. You suck. Okay, so let's go into Crowbags. We've got Overdrive. You got lucky there, son. You got lucky. But we outspeed you. You can waste them four restores. Waste all the four. All, waste all the four restores right now. That's so good. Slow King. Yep, just keep overdriving. Alright, next we'll go into Accordion. I'm gonna go for Hyper Voice. I should go for Overdrive. I thought Hyper Voice would like finish you off. And another full restore, okay. We can find that out. Is Overdrive strong enough? No, you know I think Overdrive is better. No, Hyper Voice is better. Nice. Oh, that was it? Well, that was, uh, that was easy. <laughs> It was a great fight. I got totally carried away by the, the adrenaline. Thank you very much for fighting against me. Here, here's your badge. We've got the current badge. Looks good, man. Uh, ah, yes. Well, I wanted to give you this TM as well. It's very useful. It's gold. Well, it has gold, but uh, use the excitement of battling to throw hot water to burn the target. It's a pretty good attack. Nice. And well, now you have to go to Temptation Town, right? I think your father was waiting for you at the bar. Guess they want to get on the Monetary Express with you. Okay. So, I think though, before we go and take the train to Temptation Town, I think I'm gonna go around and see if we can do anything else. Like, can we go down here yet? Wait, oh. Guess you know what you're doing, although I wouldn't go near that place just in case. Right, so we can go do that. So there's a few things we can do. Oh, there's something else. Hey, Voltsy. Yo. Easy, easy. I'm not going to challenge you to a fight. I know you just got done with your gym battle. A fight against you now would be like cheating. Well, only I just got my sixth badge. It took a while, uh, but I finally managed to beat those rappers and came, came all the way out here. That surfing thing was awesome. Uh, Jose from the surf booth is cool. Now i got to head on to the next gym. Can't always be one step behind. By the way, I saw your father and Paolo. I didn't know they knew each other. Wait for me at the bar, then I'll see you at the station when I get my badge. Sounds good. Right, as I was saying, I think it's probably a great place to end this part off, because we'll go next episode we'll go down to the Techno uh, Mansa place. We'll go and um, do some diving, and then we'll see if I can do the side quests. Uh, I'm, I'm sure someone in the comments told me. I'll just check the comments. Um, 
but I have caught a little bit ahead, so I'm not too sure there'll be a comment yet. But anyway, we'll just do some exploring, and we've got lots of side quests to do next episode, so I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, peace.